Oh wow. Well, speaking of of artists and 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 money, um, I don't know if you saw this week. Uh, there was a lot of talk, a lot of chatter about Fifty Cent and his whole bankruptcy filing and uh, all the legal stuff that was going on. And there was a debate. You know, I don't know if, our our mutual friend Charlemagne was uh, debating on the Breakfast Club about what this really means. You know, does this mean that he's broke? Does this mean that he's just it's a, just a strategy? Um, you you spend a lot of time in court. You've had a lot of money. You're familiar with. That you were with the hip hop space. Uh, what is your take on all of that in terms of you know why this whole bankruptcy might have went down? Why Forbes would say that he was worth one fifty five million, but yet he go in court. His lawyer said he's only worth four point four. Um, you know, not without really you know getting into a whole gossip about Fifty Cent. Uh, when you see all of this, how, what would be your interpretation of this? I mean, you know, again, I don't speak on another man's pockets. But what I could say is knowing about business and knowing the way Forbes and, you know, like I said, I've been in a situation where they said I had 300 million. I was like, where is it at? So, you know, I never believe Forbes regardless. And I'm not saying about anybody's pockets. I'm just saying, you know, that's Forbes. You don't believe what you read in a magazine. That's all bullshit. You know, and the realities of businesses, that's part of the game. You know, a lot of business. Bank, uh, Trump done went bankrupt a couple of times. You know, his business yeah, like seven times. times. Yeah. It's part of the game. But, you know, I just think it, if it was me that went bankrupt, boy, they would have had my head. There wouldn't have been no debates. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's all I'd be looking at. And I'd be like, I just see how they carry me about things, how they carry everybody else. But, you know, I think 50 is a warrior. You know, I think he's in the game and he's playing the game. You know, and that's that. That's all mm-hmm. part of the game. That's all I'm saying about that. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. all of it is part of the game. You know, mm. perception, reality, the fight. There's a lot of things that come with being in the game. It's, it's, it's not a, um, a playing, doing business at a professional game is a lot more than most people can take. And what I see is 50s playing at a professional level. So, mm. you know, maybe he might not have had an understanding of what it was before, but I know he has an understanding of what it is now. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, of course, what he's going to have to sustain is knowing exactly what the truth is. And hearing what everyone else got to say about it, which is hilarious, because, you know, it's his pocket at the end of the day. You know what I mean? But I know how that is. So that's part of being a businessman. So it looks like 50's a real businessman. I can say that. Well, you know, I, I agree with you. That's the perception I had. I mean, I remember when he did go on The Breakfast Club, he did say something about how he said, my businesses are doing really well. But uh, it almost sounded like he pays himself a salary out of the business. And that was the only thing I could come up with, it, you know, in terms of seeing this broad contrast between what Forbes will say he's worth and what he says he's worth in court. Because, you know, you go to court, you got to tell the truth. Right. Uh, I, I assume. Right. In, in civil court, you can't lie in civil court. Or can you? Is it the same as criminal court? Well, you know, you can't lie in court. <laughs> That's perjury. <laughs> right. 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 That's what I thought. I was I was like, because I was thinking, like, I mean, I don't think he's committing perjury. Right. So if 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 he's saying that he's, you know, I think because I think he had said something about how, you know, he takes the cars and the jewels back and stuff like that. And I, and I was trying to figure out, I was like, OK, is it that it the perception they made, they made him say all that? Yeah, man. Hey, you you got to read the articles, bro. I mean, it was really interesting because, you know, it was like basically he was just basically saying, look, I don't have all this money that that people think that I have, uh, stuff like that. And and I thought, OK, maybe he's doing this as a legal strategy because, you know, he had just got hit with a couple of big lawsuits uh, worth, of, I think, about 22 million. So I was thinking, well, maybe he's protecting his wealth uh, some, because some people can say this, and you can speak to this as a businessman. Again, this is not about 50 per se. This is about the whole issue of your business versus yourself. Um, I thought, well, maybe his wealth is tied in the company. And if you have your companies that are wealthy and you're giving yourself a salary, then you can separate the two entities. So if you sue me, you're not necessarily going to have access to all of this over here. Uh, is that the impression that you might have? Or what do you think? I would think that if he's a the businessman, all the money that he has, he has to use his working capital. So if bankruptcy is just you don't pay your bills for a while, but when money comes in, you got to pay some shit down. So. If you have like I was going to I was going to declare bankruptcy one time because I had a bunch of goods I had to pay for for vampire life. And I had a um, a judgment, some bullshit uh, judgment that, you know, was to me unjust. But that's another story. And they were trying to take what was there. But let's say I would have declared I would have been able to take what was there and put it into my business. You understand what I'm saying? But only into my business. 
So what bankruptcy means is they're going to scoop every expenditure that you have because every dollar is supposed to go into your work. It should be working capital or whatever bills that you say you got to pay. So he has to justify all his bills. So they'll be like, hold on, you owe this money. You got a Ferrari. You don't need that Ferrari. So they would give it to that person. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But he has to be like, yo, they, so if they see him with a, with a Ferrari, they want to know, well, what was that Ferrari? Where's that at? Or where's this at? So they may be making them explain that, you know, because every time it, it, gets, it gets petty in bankruptcy court. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But again, my point was, he probably has to use his money for his businesses. But again, I'm not trying to talk about that man money. I'm talking about any business. Like if I was going to declare, the only reason why I would is like, I'm not, before I pay you, I got to use this money for my businesses. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So maybe he needs to keep his cash for it. But again, you never know. Like I don't really try to judge those kind of things because, you know, I'm only worried about me. You know what I'm saying? So right, right. I know everyone has a, a very particular struggle and a, a different way of doing business. I know the cheating that goes on in business. A lot of that bullshit happens because professional business is a funky, funky game. And people cheat every day. Like, I'm in law, I'm still in all my lawsuits. And it's a long process. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it's crazy. You know what I mean? But I almost got sick of talking about it because I was bored with it. It's uninspiring. You know what I'm saying? So I got back to doing what I enjoy doing. And, you know, in between, it's like a due process court. It takes a minute to get in front of a judge. You know, like by the time you even get to say your case, you go through, it's almost like you're being punished. But, you know, it's really just, it takes a long time to get to the truth. So as it relates to bankruptcy in general, it's a part of business, you know? And perception is also a part of business. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So some people, part of their marketing is that they have a lot. At Rockefeller, that was our marketing. A lot of flash, not as much cash. So at Rockefeller, we would always pretend we had more than we had. So we would always make something look bigger. You understand Mm. what I'm saying? What you got to understand is, if you're in a newspaper and you're making yourself look bigger, but your taxes don't reflect what they're saying you got, the government is going to be like, that's how people get get audited. Because they're like, they Mm. said you got 200 million, you only paid a million dollars in taxes. So now they got to look under the hood. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Interesting, so, yeah. Most people that have money don't promote that they have money because it just makes them hot. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> but most people, and again, I'm not saying anything about anybody. I'm just talking about generally. I know for a fact that Rockefeller, that was our thing. Pretend we had more money than we had. We had more money than everybody else, but we still, if we had a million, it looked like 10. If we had 10, it looked like 100. That's almost one of the reasons why I had to stop that shit, because it was, you know, it had to be too hot for no reason. You understand mm. what I'm saying? So I remember articles and Forbes and all this. That's what they be. That's why I look like I fell, because they're like, oh, we had 300. Now, when did I have 300? You know, I spent 300 for sure. <laughs> I definitely spent 300. You know what I'm saying? But as far as 300 sitting, hell to the knob. As mm. far as what my companies are worth to me, I'm worth a billion. You understand mm. what I'm saying? Because I know I'm going to make a billion. Because at the end of the day, all the companies that I have, every dollar I make from that, I'm putting into what I really want, a football team. And I'm going to need a billion for that. So I'm going to keep flipping until I get the football team. Mm. Well, so you I don't know- care what they say about me in Forbes. Whether I got it or not, it's always money working. You understand what I'm saying? I'm always flipping. Sometimes you take losses. Sometimes you got to wait. You got to remember something. When you invest in a company, you can't invest in another company till you get your money back out of what you invested in. That's called you got to wait to re-up. So sometimes, you, I, like the rates, so I had millions in the company. I had to wait five, six years to get it back. Mm. In between that, everybody said I was broke. I'm like, all right, I'll be broke. You know what I'm saying? Then it come back, everybody else broke. And now I got some money because it was a little, you know what I mean? It's that kind of thing that I can put back into another business. Mm. See, that's what people don't understand. You got, as an independent, you got to have working capital. So you can't never put something up. You don't have any expendable income. Like, I'm not buying a car before I'm paying the editor. You understand? Mm. I'm going to buy a camera. Or I got to pay my motherfucking rent for my galleries. Or I got to buy some goods for these orders. Or I got to pay, you know what I mean? I always got to pay for something. And because I'm inspired daily, I'm always putting it into something else. Pause. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm a serial entrepreneur at a professional level. It's bet it all 
or you can't really play. People mm. with jobs save money. Entrepreneurs put it in the street. Mm. Well, you know what? It's funny, man. When you say that, when you talk about money, uh, just you know, kind of making you uh, uh, making things worse if you are too flashy with it, if you're too outspoken about it, if you exaggerate it too much. It makes me think about this uh, saying that I heard a long time ago. The Chinese use it. It says the fattest pig will always get slaughtered. So when you make yourself the fattest pig, then somebody's gonna come along and try to try to eat, right? right? But again, some people, you got to remember what I'm saying. Some people use money as marketing. So let's say you're in the street. You go, why does a guy get a car before he gets a new place to live? The reason why is because you can show the car. The minute people see you with the car, more people want to make money with you because they want to get the money that you made to buy the same kind of car better. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that was always our promotion. You know, that was why Jay and I couldn't coincide anymore because his marketing was that he's a businessman. He's like, I can't be a businessman next to you. You know, it'd be like me saying I want to be a rapper next to Jay, the greatest rapper of all time. So I can't pretend I'm a rapper next to Jay. So his marketing plan can't be I'm a businessman next to me. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I'm the one that's doing P&Ls and every day collecting money. You know, that's a whole different kind of businessman. You understand what I'm, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So right. some people's marketing... Like, there's people that make so much money and never say they're a businessman. Like, rappers that sell 10 million records and singers and actors, and they just kick out. But they don't be like, I'm a businessman. They know what they are. But some people use being a businessman as a marketing plan. It's an aspirational thing to be. You understand mm. what I'm saying? And that's almost anyone that's promoting that they're a businessman usually isn't. You understand what I'm saying? Hmm. Wow. It, that means, it means they're usually selling a celebrity. Like, selling your celebrity doesn't it makes you good at monetizing yourself, but it don't make you a good businessman. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's like you know how, as an entertainer, how to look like a businessman and then make money from that perception. You understand mm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So a lot of perception is marketable. The, the perception of a boss, a perception of a businessman, all of those things what a lot of people use to make more money. That's their marketing plan, business 